James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is June 24, 2023, noon central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Many of you probably recall the M-Class 4.8 solar flare that erupted at the end of the day on the 22nd into the 23rd. Well, that came from Sunspot 3341, the same sunspot that ejected the X-flare as it came around the limb. Now, NASA went back at us and said that they thought that we would receive a glancing blow from that X-flare, which did surprise me. They have done the same thing this morning after I thought that this would be Earth-facing enough to be geo-effective on Earth. Earth, they actually have changed their mind now and put out a warning for a glancing blow CME as of this morning. Now you can see this occurred at the end of the day on the 22nd into the 23rd. And I will show you that sunspot. You can see where it was at the time. But let's listen to the brand new warning out of NOAA this morning. NOAA. Possible glancing blow coronal mass ejection. Minor G1 class geomagnetic storms are possible on June 27th. That would be five days after the start of the solar flare. If, as NOAA's models now suggest, a coronal mass ejection might graze Earth's magnetic field. The slow-moving coronal mass ejection was hurled into space on June 22nd by an M4.8 class solar flare, and we do in fact expect a glancing blow. Ladies and gentlemen, I said that as it occurred, they completely modeled it incorrectly, and now they have remodeled it and see that it might in fact hit planet Earth. My big question, of course, is, is how will it take five days to get here? That is next to impossible. We're talking 93 million miles away, and these things are moving at five to 800 kilometers per second. The numbers don't work out. But that is the press release with this exact SDO AIA figure here. I'm going to show you where that sunspot is today. And, well, let's hope it's not active continuously as it passes the Earth or as it is Earth-facing. All right, here is our sun as of 7.06 this morning. According to NASA, look how many sunspots we have. It is unbelievable. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. Now, I have seen days with 25 plus sunspots on the sun. So, this is uh, a lot of sunspots, but it's not anywhere near a record. This is 3341 right here. We'll zoom in. You can see it's very magnetically complex, but so is 3339 that's Earth facing, 3340 that's Earth facing, and some of these little sunspots are actually able to send large flares out as well. And I wouldn't say that 3335 is completely out of play at this time either. This was taken just a few hours ago. So 3341 has turned a bit in the last 24 hours, 30 hours, but it was located right about here when it flared and I thought that would be sufficient to be, well, to send that coronal mass ejection in Earth's direction, or at least part of that coronal mass ejection in Earth's direction, and now NOAA has decided to agree with me. God bless you and yours. Share and subscribe. Always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.